I think a good question to consider is what tactics the intelligent design creationist movement is using in order to advance, advance their goals and how those tactics are being felt at ground level, how the influence of the intelligent design movement is playing out on the ground in schools, for example, in classrooms and even in homes. What we're seeing, and we've been seeing this for a number of years now, is that the intelligent design movement has youth ministries. They work through youth ministries, college campuses. They work through churches. And these are, this is the grassroots. And so we now have parents training their children to walk into their public school science classes and challenge their teachers. There's a list of 10 questions that they can get from the intelligent design movement and go down the list and start challenging, challenging their teachers um, with creationist talking points in science class. This is already happening. Young people at times are, I think, creating very difficult conditions for their teachers in class. If, even if you have a strong teacher, this discourages the teacher from even, even teaching about evolution. If you have a, a teacher who's weak on the science, who is underprepared, that teacher is going to look like a fool in front of her own students. They don't know how to answer these questions. They don't know the issue. They haven't spent time learning about creationism. They've been trying to learn science in order to teach it. And so you've got some 15-year-old with acne telling you how to understand what you teach or challenging what you teach. And this is what's happening. This is how the intelligent design movement is playing itself out on the ground. You even have students who talk to school boards. So this is having a very chilling effect on science teaching at the grassroots level.